One of my goals for this year is to talk about making music more. What's the point in vlogging about your life if you don't include one of your biggest passions? And for me, music production has become one of the most important things in my life. So today I'm working on a cover of a song called Leroy by Wheatus. If you're about my age, you will remember it from Wheatus' self-titled debut album. It's a really silly, deceptively simple, catchy pop song. I actually produced this over the holidays and released it on Christmas Day over on SoundCloud. But I've been thinking about it since Christmas and I want to go back and make some changes. So here we have the project file, I'm using Reason 7. Reason is an incredibly powerful piece of audio software, and its standout feature is this, the rack window, which simulates the interface of real-world racks, front and back. All of these hypothetical wires and knobs and CV outs have a purpose. And within Reason, you can experiment with them just as much as you could with their real-life counterparts. It's been an incredible learning curve for me over the last year and a half. As a producer with a purely digital workflow, it's forced me to get to grips with the logic of traditional equipment. And it allows me to practice, albeit not physically, with equipment that I could not afford to buy or rent. It's actually Weeble's fault that I use this software. About two months into the production of Progress, I went to his house and he showed me some of the things that it could do. I went straight home, bought a copy, and never looked back. So Leroy is a really fun project because it involves a lot of layers of traditional instruments and electronic instruments. All the percussion you hear is entirely digital, apart from the finger clicks. But we also have real violin and mandolin layered on, courtesy of my dad, Steve Bingham. Some grungy guitar from my regular High Five Spaceship contributor, Carlos Montero. And then all the other sounds you hear are produced by me. So I had two main goals with this cover. Firstly, I wanted to infuse a really catchy pop punk track with a kind of hip hop, modern, darker feel. The other was that I really wanted to explore how I could contrast the verse to the chorus. We go from a relatively simple soundscape, a basic combinator bass patch, a nice Roland TD inspired drum beat, a little extra oomph with a kick drum plugin called Punch, and some little high notes on a really wet poly six patch. Then the chorus gets huge. You have these huge chords, D, A, G, D, A, G. I just wanted to make them as big and vast and wide as possible. We got six layers of violin pizzicato, three more chords coming in on the poly six, Carlos on guitar, a big orchestral percussion patch with lots of reverb, and a couple other little synths really low in the mix. The result, plus my slightly flat vocals, is a really huge sound. What I'm doing today is looping the pizzicato at the end so that I've got an extra minute or so to play with, because honestly I've fallen so in love with this song that I don't want it to end. I'm putting together an extended version that I'm going to upload on the High Five Spaceship Patreon page, and at some point later in the year or early next year it'll be on a covers album. The whole point is to take this really simple, pretty humble song and turn it into something really grandiose and uh, extravagant and self-indulgent. I love that pits, those chords are... beautiful. I believe personally that there is a sweet spot in anyone's development in a creative field. A point where something is still novel and exciting and new to you. It feels like every step you take you're learning something new, and everything you make is better than the previous thing you made. It's incredible. And it's a feeling I've been experiencing lately with my music. Working on my second album, 2215, which, if all goes to plan, should be finished in about a month. Every track I start working on I feel more excited than the last, and I truly haven't felt this way for a very long time. You can listen to the version of Leroy we released on Christmas Day for free and download it from SoundCloud. There will be a link in the down. It is officially approved by BBB of Wheatus himself, which was the best Christmas present ever. And I'm gonna go back to working on the extended version, which I will post to the High Five Spaceship Download Club as soon as it is finished. If you'd like to pre-order the new album that I'm working on, 2215, on vinyl, CD, two disc, or digital, you can do so on hitwithwrench.com. I will post a link in the down. And make sure you follow High Five Spaceship on SoundCloud. If you don't already, there will be more downloads coming soon. By the way, I love that violin pit so much that I'm recycling it for an album track called Artemis that's going to feature the Australian rapper Jack Tempest. Sounds a bit like this, can you?